Hello friends, welcome to the Spacetech YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Airbus Ultra Air project. Airbus company launched a program to develop a laser communication terminal demonstrator for aircraft, known as Ultra Air. So, if you have not yet subscribed to us, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. There are wireless networks just about everywhere. When flying aboard a commercial jet, you may even have the option of connecting your smartphone or other devices to Wi-Fi. Countless commercial airlines now offer Wi-Fi. But the problem with in-flight Wi-Fi is that it's not particularly fast, nor is it reliable. Airbus is developing a laser system that will essentially beam internet service to its commercial jets, thus offering passengers fast and reliable in-flight Wi-Fi. Known as Project Ultra Air, it will leverage a constellation of satellites orbiting Earth. As these satellites fly around Earth, they'll beam internet service to Airbus's jets using lasers. Passengers will be able to connect their smartphones and devices to the planes in flight Wi-Fi, which will exchange data between the satellites via lasers. The Ultra Air terminal will be capable of laser connections between an aircraft and a satellite in geostationary orbit 36,000 km above the Earth with unparalleled technology including a highly stable, and precise optical mechatronic system. If you've ever used in-flight Wi-Fi before, you may recall its poor performance. When compared to ground-based Wi-Fi and even mobile broadband internet it's slower and more susceptible to disruptions. This is due to the fact that most commercial airlines currently use radio frequency waves for their in-flight Wi-Fi. They still rely on a constellation of internet beaming satellites. These satellites, though, beam internet service to commercial jets using radio frequency waves. Radio frequency bands have become more congested over the years. As more airplanes and other vehicles begin to use them, the performance of radio frequency based in flight Wi-Fi decreases. Airbus hopes to solve this problem with its project Ultra Air. Ultra Air uses satellites just like the current radio frequency based in flight. The difference is that it uses lasers rather than radio frequency waves. With lasers, there's no risk for congestion, meaning internet service can travel faster and more fluidly from the satellites to the commercial jets. From their position in geostationary orbit, the Space Data Highway satellites relay data collected by observation satellites to Earth in near real time, a process that would normally take several hours. The first tests will take place at the end of 2021 in laboratory conditions at TESIT. In a second phase, ground tests will start early 2022 in Tenerife in Spain, where connectivity will be established between an ultra-air demonstrator and the laser terminal embarked on the AlphaSat satellite using the European Space Agency Optical Ground Station. For the final verification, the ultra-air demonstrator will be integrated on an aircraft for flight testing by mid-2022. This new program is a key milestone in the roadmap of Airbus' overall strategy to drive laser communications further, which will bring forward the benefits of this technology as a key differentiator for providing multi-domain collaboration for government and defense customers. If all goes as planned, it could lead to a faster and more reliable in-flight Wi-Fi service for passengers.